Five, easy. Six, rest. Good morning and happy day eight. It is Monday again. I'm usually not doing any cardio or training on Mondays because of check-ins and PT sessions, but I've had a few clients moving their sessions around, which means that I have a bit of spare time today. So instead of leaving my cardio last minute, like I did last week, I had to do cardio on Saturday, Sunday. I'm just gonna go to the gym now and smash some. I don't know if I'll be able to do one hour and a half. They still have three sessions of 30 minutes to get done, but I'll just do as much as I can. And then I'm gonna head home, smash a few check-ins, prepare lunch, then have another PT session, then more check-ins, then another PT session. So that's the plan for today. And I'll also give you guys my updates later on while I'm cooking lunch because calories have dropped. Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. It is Monday, 12.30. I came back from the gym not too long ago. I actually managed to smash all my cardio. So three times 30 minutes. I just did in one go, 90 minutes. So that is done for the week. Whilst my thing is cooking, I'm just gonna run you through the updates that I've got for the week. I got the check-in from my coach, Liam, who's also my partner. And overall, he was happy with the fact that body weight has dropped well, so 700 grams. He was also very unhappy with my sleep and my stress. So last week, I slept on average six hours. I rated my sleep a four out of 10. And in regards to stress, low to high, I had on average 8.4. So definitely got to work on stress and sleep this week. What I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to cook earlier at night. If I don't have PT session at 6 p.m., what I'll do is that I'll actually start cooking at six. That way I can eat dinner by seven and then go to bed in an ideal world. The main reason why sleep is so important is basically because sleep is when the magic happens. If you don't sleep enough, it can definitely have an impact on training performance, which I told you guys, but last week I had a few sessions that were just not okay, where I really struggled to progress. So chances are that you're going to lose muscle, especially when you're in a fat loss phase, which in my case is just not an option because I trained really, really, really hard during my off season in order to build muscle. So I'm definitely not willing to lose muscle tissue because of my sh sleep. And sleep can also have an impact on your hunger. So this week, main focus will be my sleep. Now, in regards to the updates that I've got, he dropped my calories to 1,545 with 155 grams of protein that stays the same, carbs 170 and fats 27. Cardio remains the same and steps, he hasn't changed them yet. Something else that we discussed over the weekend was to organize my calories a little bit better, especially around training. So he created meal plan for me, but that does not involve food. It just involves the macros and how I should split it throughout the day. Basically what he did is that he took the protein intake that I've got on a daily basis and he split it in four, which means that I'm now going to aim for 40 grams for the pre-workout, 40 grams for the post-workout, 40 grams for meal three, which would be my snack, and 40 grams for dinner. In regards to fats, less fat before and after training and more fats for snack and dinner. And carbs looks pretty even as well, but a bit more carbs post-workout and a bit more carbs at dinner as well. I'm going to give that a go because I know that it is going to give me more results if I manage to optimize my macros throughout the day. So for lunch, I'm going to make myself a tortilla because obviously my calories have dropped and I had to make some changes in regards to my meal plan. So for the ingredients, I'm going to use some flour, egg whites, seasoning, onion and garlic. I mix it all in order to have some sort of a dough. I'll leave this on the side and start preparing what's going to be inside my tortilla. So we have some onions, tomatoes, mushrooms, tuna. 
and some pumpkin as well that I'm cooking on the side. I chop everything, mix everything and add it onto the dough. Then I mix everything once again and pour it into a pan. We await it like that. I need to do it. Tortilla! And that's the final product. That was so yummy. It does smell delicious. After lunch, I did the first half of my check-ins. And for snack, I just had that protein yogurt. After that, I just went for a walk before my last client at 6. On a mission to try to get my steps up. I'm at 12k. It's 5.30pm. <laughs> Wish me luck. For dinner, I had to make myself a pizza in a pan because Liam broke the oven. And it turned out pretty good, actually. First time trying this one, I like it. I'm just not a big fan of lemon in general. I think it's just a little bit too acidic for my liking, but I get what people would like it. It's yummy, just not for my liking. Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. Today is Tuesday and I just came back from the gym. It is 10.38. So the session I did today is actually the one that I shared with you guys last week, the posterior chain session. Not gonna lie, I had no expectations whatsoever for today's session because once again, I had a very, very short sleep. I slept for five hours. So the issue that I've got at the moment with my sleep is that I'm working later than usual from 9, 9.30 p.m., which means that after that, I still need to shower, eat, and then when I go to bed, I'm still wide awake because my brain is just going. So by the time I actually manage to fall asleep, it's around midnight. And then I wake up around 5.30 for my first PT session. So I'll definitely have to do something about that. Because this week, as opposed to last week, I'm feeling hungrier. Obviously, my calories have dropped. But at that stage, I'm pretty sure that the fact that I'm hungrier is due to the fact that I'm actually exhausted so my body craves energy and sends me the signal that i need to eat more but in fact i just need to sleep more so easier said than done but i really need to make an effort so yeah, i had no expectations but it ended up being a pretty good session i progressed on everything i started off with a hip thrust managed to do 15 reps with 160 kg the rep range that I have usually on Tuesdays is 8 to 12, but I had no more room to add extra plates on the side, so I just went for higher reps. And next week, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab thinner plates, which I think is like power lifter plates, which means that I'll be able to stack more plates onto the sides, so that way I'll be able to be within my rep range. Then I moved on to rack pulls, which I managed to do 10 reps at 102.5 kgs or two sets felt good then i moved on to see the leg curls the leaning forward one i love this exercise because you have a greater stretch due to the fact that you're actually leaning forward it always makes me sore the day after that and also with lengthened partial reps on my last set which allows me to go all out then i had the bulgarian split squat they actually felt better today because the setup that i used Today was heaps better than last time. Last time with the stick, it was so wobbly. I literally could not focus on the exercise. I was focusing on not losing my balance. They used to have a um, Bulgarian split squat thing, but, and then Ben, the owner, actually said that they had to throw it away because it was broken. Hence the fact that I had a dodgy setup in my previous video, which I definitely not recommend. It was not ideal, but the one I had today was much better. Bulgarians felt great. And then afterwards I moved to kickbacks and the kickbacks was actually the only exercise today that felt not great. I really felt my lower back taking over. So what I'm going to do next week, I'm just going to add a two seconds pause at the top. So I'll be able to drop the load and focus more on feeling it in my glutes. Something else I wanted to say about my program. Over the last two weeks, I started feeling that I was struggling to progress on some exercises. So obviously I'm at week 11 of my program, which means that it is expected to have some exercises where now I struggle to progress because it's been 11 weeks that I'm hustling to progress every single week. But because I'm on a fat loss, it's not ideal to change my whole program right now because I'm used to this exercise, I'm used to that program. So the plan is actually to keep it for the whole fat loss phase, which is probably gonna be an extra five, 
last week's so what we're gonna do first of all he wants me to fix my sleep because if i manage to fix my sleep chances are that i'll be able to keep progressing because probably the fact that i haven't been progressing as well as what i was expecting to is linked to the fact that my sleep hasn't been great if your sleep is not great you can't expect your body to recover completely so step one fix my sleep if i still struggle to progress after fixing my sleep then what we'll do is that we'll actually just add slight modifications to some exercises in order for me to keep progressing while keeping the same movement pattern. For example, what we're gonna do with the kickbacks, instead of completely changing exercise, we're just adding a two second pause at the top, which will allow me to use a lighter load and then still have room to progress after that. So that's the plan. Now I'm just gonna quickly eat a post-workout snack. Nothing too big, but I need to eat something because I do have a PT session at 11 a.m. And then after that, I need to finish my check-ins. And then I have another PT session tonight at six. So I'm probably just gonna eat some tuna quickly. I know it looks gross, but I don't have the time to eat anything fancier than that. That will do, donkey, that will do. Nine, perfect. Last one. 10, and rest. I just came back from my PT session and I'm starving. So what I'm going to do for lunch, I'm still going to have a tortilla. Similar than yesterday, the only difference, because I'm way hungrier than yesterday, I'm going to replace the flour with some spoon like potatoes, because the potatoes are going to create more volume than the flour would. So it's going to be a little bit less cakey than yesterday, but it's going to be bigger, which is going to help me to feel fuller until i have my snack this afternoon so i'm just cooking the veggies now potatoes and pumpkin and i'm going to prepare what i'm going to put in the tortilla which is onions mushrooms tuna and tomatoes as well and on the side i'm going to have the salad that i usually have which is just lettuce with a bit of light sweet chili sauce and that's it Great, two, one. Oh, i'm scared Oh my god, such a fail! Half is still on it. Just attached to the bottom. Oh well, it's gonna taste nice anyway. How long have you been? Done. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Wednesday. It's 7.15. Today I'm going to do a photo shoot for Tony and Guy, which is a big hairdressing company. So they're going to do my hair and then I'll have to do a bit of content for them. And after that, I'll go to the gym and I'll record my upper body session for you, which is shoulders and back. I've done a few photo shoots with them. I know that they usually take quite long. That's why I'm going to pack my lunch. That way I can eat right before I train. So I'm just going to pack some pumpkin and kangaroo. And I'm also going to pack my laptop because chances are that I'll be there for a few hours. And yeah, girl, got some work to do. So let's do it. I actually need to leave in five minutes because I am heading to the city today. I'll take you guys with me. And that's the fit for today. Matching top as well. She goes around, keeps cute. Here's the after. I went for a little bit of a darker blonde, which is much closer to my natural color. She's the best! <laughs> my goal is to let my hair grow and also to go back to my natural color. That's why we went somehow in between in order to transition to it. Ended up eating my lunch on the train right before the gym. Mm, so
I'm definitely not used to train in the afternoon, that's why I ended up having a Red Bull. Since my back injury, I always start my session with a very good warm up with some mobility drills, and I also roll that ball for 5 to 10 minutes all the way along my spine. Exercise number one, we have the crucifix cable lat raise with a rep range of 15 to 20 reps. This one is a killer, but I love it because my shoulders are always burning afterwards. Because of gymnastics, I am very traps dominant, which means that it's very hard for me to use my shoulders or feel my shoulders when I perform an exercise. But this one is one of my all time favorite exercise for the shoulders. Second exercise on the menu today, we have some single arm lap pull down, which I'm once again a huge fan of. The rep range here is 8 to 12, hence the fact that I'm going pretty heavy. That was around 30 kg from what I remember, 31.25. As a little tip, whenever you perform some unilateral exercises, always start with your weak side, go to the failure point with your weak side first, and then move on to your strong side and match the performance. Do not do more reps with the strong side, otherwise your strong side is going to get even stronger. Exercise number three, we have some seated bent arm lat arrays. On the machine, the rep range here is 15 to 20 reps, and I do have a specific tempo here, two seconds on the way down, two seconds pose at the bottom. Another one of my favorite shoulder exercise here, because it really allows me to go to the failure without having my traps taken over. Exercise number four, back to a back exercise, we have some chest supported dumbbell rows with a neutral grip. The rep range here is 12 to 15. Exercise number five, we have some lean away, 45 degrees cable lateral raise, which I now manage to fill in my shoulders. It's not always been the case. The rep range here is once again 15 to 20. And here as well, I always start with my weak side, which is the left side. I go to the failure point and then I match the performance with my strong side, which is the right side. And then last exercise for today, finishing off with some rear delts. We have some single arm cable, high to low, rear delt fly. The rep range here is 12 to 15. And that is also one of my all time favorite exercise for the rear delts, because I can really fire up my rear delts without having any other muscle groups taken over. And that was it for today. Hey guys, I just came back from the gym. I am soaked and starving. I need to eat a snack. I do have another PT session at 6 p.m. so I don't really have the time to cook anything right now, but I will have a big dinner later on. 
Session was good. I'm definitely not used to train in the afternoon. It was way busier than when I usually train in the morning. So I was a bit like, eh. But to be honest, energy was actually good. I went for the protein bar. This one is 20 grams of protein and 177 calories. And it is one of my favorite protein bars ever. Don't think I'll record any more bits today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. Today is Thursday, 11.43. I just came back from the groceries. I bought myself some sauerkraut and bazaar, which I haven't had in a long time. This is something that I usually buy and eat when I'm prepping and when it's towards the deep end of the prep, just because sauerkraut is very low in calories and high in volume. And bazaar is very, very lean as well. For 100 grams of bazaar, there's 68 calories. So I'm going to start eating this because as I said to you this week, I really feel hungry. So I really need to find some solutions in order to feel like I eat more. Zorokraut, bazaar and pumpkin would be my go-to when I diet. Before that, I went to the gym and I did my quad session, which was actually a good session. Considering the fact that I slept for four and a half hours last night. Definitely not something I'm proud of and I know why. It's because yesterday, because of the hairdresser, I had to train in the afternoon and I had a Red Bull around 2.30 p.m. Which, big mistake, I shouldn't have done that because I'm usually having caffeine only in the morning when I wake up. I was in bed, my brain was going and I just could not sleep at all. So I fell asleep, it was half past midnight. I had no expectation in regards to two days training. I struggled to get into my session, but then after the hack squat, I think I was in. I was just flooring for the rest of the session, which was fine. I did struggle still, but I managed to progress everywhere, which is what we want. I just wanted to let you know guys how I'm feeling. I'm definitely starting to feel the hunger and the mood swings a lot. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it is due to the fat loss and to the calorie deficit. Chances are that it's due to the lack of sleep. As I said to you, I just came back from the shops. I actually almost got into an argument with a lady at the shops because she wanted to go in front of me in the queue when she was behind. So I was like, stay calm. Anyway, just to let you know that I feel very on the edge. So this afternoon, I'm going to try to have a nap because this is not a sustainable situation. And physique wise, I also feel watery. I'll probably check a picture right now to show you guys what I meant by that. But last week, my abs were actually visible. And today I felt like I was going backwards. I felt chubbier than usual. And even the scale is not dropping this week, which could be due to the fact that I'm feeling watery, water retention due to the lack of sleep. So I actually need to sort my shit right now. It's just not funny anymore. And I need to take that seriously because the lack of sleep can 100% hinder my results. It can hinder my fat loss results and it can hinder my muscle gain results. So definitely not something I want. Your girl has got to sleep and I want to sleep. I wish I could switch my brain off a little bit more because it's probably some form of ADHD but my brain is always going and I really struggle with that. Now I'm gonna have a shower and cook my lunch. I'm still gonna make myself a tortilla but because I'm hungrier I decided to, to swap the kangaroo for baza which is a white fish. More volume, this is what we want in order to feel full despite the fact that that we are on a calorie deficit. Shower, cook, eat, sleep. And after my nap, a little bit of work on the laptop. That's the plan. Hey guys, it is 4.15. I just woke up from the best nap ever, much needed. I'm just gonna make myself a snack. I'm gonna have my pancake, which is same as last week. Flour, egg whites, apple, cinnamon, stevia, and once that it's cooked, a drizzle of maple syrup. So I'm just going to prepare that quickly, eat it, 
and then I'm gonna go for a big walk because I haven't moved much today and then I'll come back and smash some work on the laptop before dinner time All right, for lunch we're having today, let's use pumpkin and basil, mushrooms roll. I don't cook my mushrooms anymore because they shrink, which means less volume. So I just eat them raw. Sweet chili sauce. And I also drink the water I'm cooking my pumpkin in, and it's like a soup. Once again, more volume. Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. Today is Friday. 27. I've got one more PT session to go in about three minutes and then that will be it for today. So today, like every Friday, I woke up, did a few PT session, then I had to go to the junction to meet Brownie, we did a bunch of content together. Content this morning was hilarious. Oh, that's what she thinks, but we are gonna completely change. What the fuck, like, I can't, you're laughing too much. I can't wait to share these videos with you guys on Instagram if you don't follow us yet Go and do that right now because next week's content is gonna be hilarious And then after content I came back home, had lunch and then tonight we're just catching up with friends Left, right, left, right Also, today we're feeling better I slept 8 hours last night, which is a win And obviously I'm feeling way more alive and myself today And hunger is way more manageable Like this morning I woke up not hungry, I just had lunch, I feel full ass, even though I only had pumpkin and fish, so I take it. So if you're on a fat loss phase and you're hungry ass, ask yourself, are you sleeping enough? But body weight is still holding. Once again, I'm 61.3, it's been three days in a row. I'm hopeful in regards to the fact that if I have a good night again tonight, I'll have a good drop tomorrow in the morning. Fingers crossed, and my client's here, so I'm gonna run downstairs for the session. Bye! It's pancake o'clock. That's probably the one that I burned the less this week. Hello, beautiful people. It is Saturday, approximately lunchtime, I guess. I just finished at the gym, I'm walking back home. And today we've had a great session. It feels great, especially when I compare my performance with last week, which were terrible. It's been two days in a row that I had a decent amount of sleep. I slept for a bit more than seven hours last night. So yeah, gym was very good. I managed to progress everywhere. The only thing that we've changed compared to last week, it's the pendulum. Just added three seconds on the way down, two seconds pause, Spicy felt like hell, but felt better and that's gonna allow me to keep using that training program for a few more weeks Hopefully, so now I'm gonna go home have lunch not much planned for this weekend Liam is very 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 sick. So no date night tonight But I'm just gonna use this time to catch up on a lot of work and also start the YouTube edit because I haven't started editing the second vlog yet and I really want to share it every witness day so we'll do that too I know I'm really really hot after walking uphill yeah something else I forgot to mention as you can probably see I'm not wearing my watch anymore I don't know why it just stopped working I think that was two days ago I had a nap and when I woke up from my nap the screen was just completely dark I thought maybe the battery died Put it on charge for the whole day and it's just not working so my steps are not going to be super accurate this week so what i'm going to do i still have the garmin that i used to use during my very very first prep it's like a very old one and that just tracks the steps i'm probably going to start using this one I had a look yesterday i couldn't find a charger so i just need to order that on amazon and hopefully it will come throughout the weekend so i can start tracking my steps accurately next week again because if liam decides to increase my steps 
I will obviously have to have a watch it. So I'll try to order that today. And yeah, that's about it. Just arriving at home now. So lunchtime we have some lettuce that doesn't change with some pumpkin and then that's the fish I ended up adding some egg whites to it just because I didn't have enough bazaar and it wasn't enough protein so I just added 100 grams of egg whites with that and some mushrooms on the side as well some sweet chili sauce too and that's just my peel to help with my hair whole lunch is 284 calories with almost 38 grams of protein not too shabby after lunch i did a few hours of programming on the laptop then smashed some steps on the treadmill because it was raining outside and then had my snack don't know about you guys but i was a little bit disappointed with the new movie of zac efron sunday is the only day where i can actually sleep in so i woke up at 8 a.m got ready to go to the gym but first of all i smashed a little bit of work on the laptop especially to send check-in links to my clients had my energy drink on the way and started my upper body session so shoulders and back and that was the last session of the week not gonna lie that session wasn't the best I think it's probably due to the fact that I always do this session with Liam, who's my partner and coach. And because he was sick, I actually had to train on my own. And yeah, that just felt a little bit different, sad, depressing. That's just our Sunday thing, you know? And we motivate each other, push each other. And on top of that, the gym is kind of dead on Sundays. So not having him and Jim being dead, I felt pretty meh. Anywho, got it done and managed to progress everywhere, which I was pretty happy with. Then I went back home and had lunch, same as usual. And after that, smashed a few hours on the laptop because I had to finish some programs for the incoming week. Then I had my pancake in bed and had to motivate myself to finish my steps. Just on my evening walk, trying to get some steps in and guess what? I just walked into a spider web. I'm scared that the spider is actually on me. Oh my God. I love Australia, but at the same time, I hate it. It is Sunday night. It's the end of week two. Sorry for the horrible quality. It's pretty late already. So I don't really see myself setting up the camera to finish that vlog. So I'm just gonna end it here. Quickly to summarize, it was a very frustrating week because if I compare my body weight on average this week and my body weight on average last week, nothing has changed. I was 61.4 on average last week, 61.4 on average this week. I did not go over my calories. I hit my macros. I did all my steps. I did all my cardio. And despite all that, the number on the scale isn't dropping. So yes, it is a little bit frustrating, but there's always things to work on. My sleep hasn't been great at all, except on average for five hours, which is just not okay. And my stress has been quite high as well. So there's definitely things to work on for the incoming week. I also wanted to remind you guys that the scales is just one tool that we have to measure progress. There's heaps of other things to measure progress, such as the skin folds, the girth measurements, the way clothes are fitting, the pictures. So it's not because one tool says that you haven't made any progress, that you actually haven't made any progress, if that makes sense. So it is what it is. I'm not going to give up. I have a goal and I'm going to achieve it whatever it takes, even if it means that my fat loss is going to be a little bit longer than expected. And that's also the purpose of these vlogs because I wanted to be very transparent and honest with you guys. And sometimes, things doesn't go as we plan and it's not because i'm a coach that things are working on me straight away just wrap it up here and hopefully next week will be better just wanted to say thanks guys for watching thanks as well for the nice messages and comments in the previous video and i can't wait to share this with you and hopefully it's going to give you the motivation to keep pushing even when shit gets hard see you next week for the new vlog bye